it's like what Tony Stark once said, you know, is that time again? It's time for the house party protocol. Yeah, it's like, sadly, no, it's not like that. It. Let me just tell you a good story. A long time ago in 2011, I just stumbled upon this funny, funny channel. And this channel was called Dare to be Stupid Show. And they did so many things and just made lots of parodies. And it turns out that nowadays, since, you know, eight years later, since because of COPA and FTC, they can't do any more funny Barney videos. And I don't remember when Barney started. I forgot. I think it started like at least a few years ago. And I bet this is the reason why they can't do the puppet name name anymore because they think it's for kids. You know, I wonder what happens if Wonder shows and became a <laughs> YouTube exclusive content. Oh, my gosh. Wonder shows and makes fun of kids shows and most likely. YouTube will be completely stupid, or at least FTC will be completely stupid and say, that's a kid's show. It's like, no, no, Wonder Showsen is not a kid's show. It is a creepy adult show that doesn't even deserve to be mentioned right now. But poor, poor Dare to be Stupid show. Apparently, they're getting to the point of where they might close down in 2020. No more funny, stupid move videos. And that sucks. It's like there's so many who are actually going to maybe close their doors. And I already seen a few of them who actually did like a few video game channels. They've been stopped. They stopped like a year or two ago. And I'm like, oh, man, that's not fair. I mean, it was cool to compare notes and everything, and it's just, it just went down. I even, I forgot to even mention the fact of the video request tab when it used to happen in YouTube, and well, that slowly died, and it sucks. That sucked. <clears throat> well, besides that, that every stupid show was very, very funny. I enjoyed all their content. So funny, but apparently, yeah, they're now kind of getting censored. For right now, I don't think I'm getting sense. Well, for them, it's basically they're getting threat by $40 or $4,000 of video. And it's like, holy frick. What the hell? Yeah, that's that's unbelievable. What the frick? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sucky when it comes straight down to is that if you want to survive on YouTube, you might as well go to Patreon, baby. It's like, yeah, it's like you're going to have to pick and choose which one you monetize. And then some you're just going to have to Patreon baby for. And it's like, that's cool and all. It, that's basically it. It's cool and all. It's a good idea. I'm just thinking about the whole, what can you do about Barney? It's like, yeah, I think they could easily not monetize. And so all the Barney ones they can stop monetizing i think they had one with elmo they might have to demonetize that one too or not monetize it anymore yeah this whole copa and ftc thing is gone out of control and i thought that they're actually thinking about let's tweak it a little bit and they haven't tweaked it yet and of course i can't really complain because i haven't set my piece on their website yeah which personally it's like you need to figure out some things, you know, there's some things that, you know, you can put adult spin on, you know, it's like if the FTZ was like, was freaking regulating or their um, food and alcohol association or FD, FDA or whatever, it's like, look at hard Mike, look at Mike's lemonade and hard, Mike's limeade and Mike's cherry limeade. It's hard, meaning that they have alcohol. It's bullshit because I wanted to drink it as a kid, but alcohol. I was wondering, it's like hard lemonade. Hmm? That's going to be cool because, hey, lemonade that you actually made it actually is for the strong. But it's an alcoholic beverage. It's an adult beverage. Son of a big. It's like if if Copa and FTC was here, that means that hard mic would never even exist because... Well, lemonade is usually for the children, you know, lemonade stands and stuff. And it sucks. It's like, mm, yeah, that never happened. <laughs> Just like that would be cool, but it never happened. 
it really it's just really a messed up situation in 2020 it really is and it's like i guess in a way youtube could actually help it's like yeah youtube can definitely help but for right now they're mostly just giving it to the creators and the creators are now on the hook instead of youtube doing something to actually help figure things out yeah they don't do it no idea why no idea why but yeah so dare to be stupid it was a good run if they disappear i'm gonna be very sad because well there's just one that is pretty fun to watch pretty funny to watch and everything and well they're canadians but yet they actually do some american stuff and it just you know it's like even though these days when it comes to america we're not very the hell man Stuart little well, anyways we're not very very welcoming at this point well i am but there's some in the country that actually aren't welcoming to other countries but it's cool that they're still bridging the gap and we're still trying to at least you know extending hands and stuff and being funny and everything even though canada is like it's not america but they do make some american comedy and it's pretty funny and many things are actually like international anyways like the ninja turtles and stuff so if they do go away they will be missed and it sucks it's like so many more channels are going to leave too and it's like why the hell are you doing this it's like it always was like a thing going on it's like really and it's like why why aren't you trying to stabilize man it's like you're not stabilizing at all it's like look at daily motion daily motion has cleaned up their act completely not well technically daily motion is like what youtube is since 2009 in 2009 that's what they are but seriously though man it sucks that dare to stupid might be going away and i really don't want them to go away it's like hopefully copa and basically the copa laws and tftc they could actually figure things out and be like okay so we tweak the rules to where it should be or it's like there's some gray areas when it comes to what's a kid and what's adult but considering YouTube in the first place was trying to do family friendly stuff and you come in with this, it's like, gee whiz, eh. they have to do some more work because if they want to be family friendly and kids are watching with adults, then ads can be played because, well, the adult is with the child. But it's like, how in the world do you know that the adult is with the child when it comes to the ads? But of course, more than anything, it's just the fact of, you know, they are getting history and stuff out of the kids. But I think that they stopped doing that. Maybe. Either way, it's just messed up that we're now making it even. It's like they tried to do family friendly and now you're separating that whole entire thing. And it's like, you see, you're cramping their style, man. You're seriously cramping their style, but hey sure i mean sure why not 